What is up guys? It's your boy 2Natural. Today's Friday, the Shakers program just dropped. In addition to that, there's a bunch of new stuff going on with the game actually. Sorry, there's like tree, they're literally tree trimming outside my house right now. Um, so there might be background noise, but I'm so excited because not only did we get a new program, we also got a big new update yesterday and I figured I would just put it in because they basically replaced the campaign mode with new solos. So we're gonna play that. Right off the bat, it seems like we have a like battle pass almost, like a grind pass. So this is a daily rewards and there's now, if you can see in the top corner, I think my thing is blocking it, but you can see here is, okay, that's weird. Um, there's like shakers points. Look between the zero and the one, there's like shakers points that you're gonna earn from each, um, from each day or something. So this first tier needs 40 points to get to the next one. So here we go, are you ready to shake things up? NFL Shakers cards are here to represent the biggest trades and free agent pickups of the offseason. Introducing blueprints, look for blueprints and packs, merge them with matching base cards and unlock the full limited edition card. In celebration of blueprints, we're offering the NFL Shakers blueprint pack at a special price for a limited time. Get it now in the shop. Um, so then, oh yeah, you can see we have missions here. You can't see in the, let me see if I can move my cam, I'll move my cam real quick. Shoot, yeah, okay, that didn't really work. But you can see, um, there's like, in the top corner, there's 1090 points. Frank, I, that's terrible. Why, why did I do that, actually? That messed up my entire camera orientation thing. Anyways, it is what it is. Let's get that back in balance. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect, that should work. Sorry, I did all that just to, but yeah, so win five solo matches, 150 Shakers points, complete 10 passes, 150 Shakers points, play 30 matches, 400 Shakers points, and that, I'm assuming there's more missions or other ways to earn points. Also, I assume this is what they wanted to do to initially um, have us earn the Aaron Rodgers, the top people in Shakers points, but they did announce in the Discord today they scrapped their plans for that, so there's just going to be two mythical tournaments instead of, of one mythical tournament and one other way to win a mythical. So, Shakers are not live. Introducing blueprints. You can now turn a base card into an LE. And there's Luminous cards from the first Shakers pack. Alright, first of all, let's take a look at the... So, we have the offensive line event, normal event. Um, it's a little... It's a new homepage, so I have to get used to it. So the first events are the limited NFL Shakers event. So we see first, I don't know why first is even a thing here, because everyone gets one free pack, and it's literally a rare player, all the way down to 250. So I don't understand why someone would want to push for first if there's 25 extra gem rewards. Like, it's kind of puzzling to me, but anyways. Um, first through 250 is basically the same. You get this free standard pack, so you have one of these 80% chance for rares, 17 for epics, and 3% chance for legendaries. And then 251 to 500. I like that they're expanding the reward system. So this pack has an 80% chance for rare, 17% for epic, and a 3% chance for legendary blueprints. So I assume then you're gonna wanna add this back into, you're gonna add this with a base card to make a card. Um, and then the first featured event requires one shakers player, so, oh, and then you can get Odell Beckham Jr. basically. Oh, interesting again. So yeah, we can kind of see how what's different about this promo. It's an attempt to address the, the free-to-play and make free-to-play have something to grind for, I guess. So you can still have value in base cards without um, letting free-to-play players get too many cards, I guess. I like it, and it expands the term rewards. I really think this is a good step in the right direction. I'm a big fan of this so far. So we see the top, see this is pretty good for the top people. They get so much more conditioning points, not conditioning points, um, what are these called? Clocks than everyone else. So yeah, uh, 117 Odell, and then everyone past 200 is gonna get an Odell uh, player blueprint. So that's interesting. We'll see how the blueprints work. I'm gonna go to the store and check out the deals there, see if we can show you guys right now. Um, 108 catch, 123 speed, 150 insane catch, 117, 150 insane catch is definitely deserved for Odell. 
I think this card is okay. It's a pretty good wide receiver. I wouldn't say it's a top of the line wide receiver. It's a pretty good wide receiver though. Great for um, low budget squads, I guess, not like top squads. Chop is taking a little bit to load. We do want to see this though. My game seems to be frozen right now. Um, that's a little annoying. Um, I'm gonna just tab out of that and then we're gonna go back in. Okay, we're gonna close out the game and then go back in here. Mob battle now. I was looking forward to showing you as a shot. Shoot, my alignment is still a little off, I think. Um, perfect, there we go. Alright, shop. And then, okay, here's the. So, special offers limited shakers pack, limited shakers blueprint pack. Uh, okay, so let's. I'm a little. Oh, nice, okay. So, this is great. In addition to the blueprints, they gave us. A pack for 350 gems and this one has a 46% chance of an 80 to 89 base player so this is actually a pretty good pack honestly for a base pack it's one of the first packs we've got with um, that's not the 500 packs or just a positional pack so I do really like that and they give you the choice of offensive defensive um, give me one second I'm checking to see if there's okay so this is all the shakers packs so let's go through. We might buy some right now. Let's see. Limited Shakers pack. Jump into the Shakers experience with this one-time purchase offer. Rare or better. So it's $5 and it's a normal 80% rare, 17% epic, 3% legendary. Um, there's a Shakers blueprint pack special. So it gives either a Shakers blueprint or a chance at a non-luminous Shakers limited edition card. On on top, each person gives a Shaker's base card, blueprints, and LE cards are tradable on the marketplace. Okay, interesting. The odds are all over the place. So anyway, this one says 3% chance for a legendary Shaker's blueprint, 14% chance for epic blueprint, 68% chance for rare, 0% chance for Shaker's player. That's a little weird. 3% chance for epic Shaker's and 12% chance for rare. I don't even know how that adds up that's like seven hold up 80 83 86 oh okay cool so those odds do add up i guess it is a one card pack and then shakers pack series one pretty basic 80 percent chance rare 17 percent epic three percent legendary not really a reason you should buy this for 15 dollars to be honest 99 dollar mega shakers pack um, the same odds as normal, pretty much. Three three rare, better, two epic or better, good chance for legendaries, and then the jumbo pack, which is just three of the normal packs for a cheaper price. So we're going to go ahead and rip this uh, limited shakers as well as the shakers blueprint pack. Just like 10 bucks real quick for you guys. Let's see what we get here. Uh, I honestly forgot the players list. I literally just made this. Um, I literally just made this. What was it? The video yesterday with the playlist, but I don't even know who's good here. Let's hope for something good, I guess. Let's tap the card. Three, two, one. Epic, I think? No. We got a rare. That's lame. 99 deep tackle. I already have a deep tackle, too. That really sucks. As well, hopefully we get better luck with the blueprint. I'm actually hoping for a blueprint here so we can show you guys some of the tech here. Perfect. Let's hope for legendary blueprint, I guess. This is kind of cool. Oh, it is two cards. Okay, we haven't seen this before. So let's open this. It should be the no, it's an actual card. A Drew Tranquil blueprint. Okay, interesting. I think I do have this base card, actually. Oh, and we get a Troll Edmonds. That's actually nice because he's another card in the promo. I already have him. Plus, he's a good strong safety. So, okay. You have a matching play base player card. You need to upgrade your base player card to max level 5 in order to fuse it with your blueprint card. Sorry, gotta stay hydrated, fam. Um, so let's upgrade this base card. I think I actually do have this true tranquil. So we're gonna waste some training materials, I guess, just to show you guys the blueprint evolutions. 
So we're gonna upgrade him to level five. Okay, cool. So this player is fully upgraded. Let's click the blueprint match button. And it's not doing anything. Well, that's lovely. Oh, here we go, okay, cool. So 84 plus 21 and we fuse cards. So this is only rare. So that they kind of screwed me with the limited edition. I mean, that's the odds, but I was hoping for something good and I kind of just wasted training on the space card, but let anyways, our first fuse in action. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's pretty dope. We get a 105 linebacker tranquil and he is already level 5, so it's not really a wasted evolution. You guys might want to be careful about this because I do think that Drew Tranquil was a starter for me on my base only team. Um, so now we might be kind of out of luck for those events. But yeah, okay, so that's blueprints in action, I guess. Now it says Fuse, you can see. So that's actually pretty dope. It lets you merge the base cards into a rare card. And it actually wasn't that difficult. It is kind of costly in terms of um, what is it called in terms of training and stuff like that so that is kind of rough oh no I had a wait hold up who are my linebackers okay yeah that was one of my better linebackers so that's a little unfortunate but does this have special card art for being a blueprint I don't think it does this Drew Tranquil does not have bad stats anyway but yeah I think that should count as a Shakers player that does count as a Shakers player for the event so um, that's actually pretty interesting. I like the concepts here. Another thing I just wanted to tap into real quick is the new solos. We're going to play a couple of these because they use these. You can see this is where the campaign used to be. So it kind of replaced the normal campaign. I know Yin dropped a video, basically a big rant about the, wait, what is this? Okay. So this is round one power play. Interesting. So we earn coins from this. Um, I know Yin dropped a big rant video on this. I haven't played enough to determine for myself my opinion on it yet. Um, I think I think it's interesting. I think it's more dynamic. It reminds me more of Madden solos. So me personally, I'm pretty excited to play this. But I did watch his videos. There's definitely a lot of valid stuff on what he said. So I might actually drop a reaction to that video because there's some things I agree with, some things I don't agree with. Man, playing against an 1100 power team is wild. It's like... This is how the top power teams must feel every day. Um, but yeah, so I might drop a react to that. Honestly, we'll see. Because uh, I think there's a lot of good points and a lot of things that are... Let's run up the score. Let's see how high we can get this score. I haven't played a low power team in like forever. Like a real actual low, low power team. But yeah, um, main thing about this game is I actually do really like the direction they've taken this new promo. I think personally it makes it a lot more accessible, especially that they're giving those base cards. So you don't have to RNG hunt for all those. You still do, but it's a much smaller pool now with the Shakers offensive and defense packs. I think everyone should be able to get at least a rare card that they're going to use from this program. Especially if you have gems saved up and you're like... You have half a brain, you're kind of decent at the game. This is definitely the best free-to-play promo so far. I don't feel like that's a reach or an overstatement. And we also do have that like mini battle pass thing like I told you guys about. Basically, you get more points and more rewards from that. To be honest, I didn't really check. I actually should check that in again after the game. Um, just to see how that's going because... I want to see if those rewards are any good or not. We're probably just going to 
but I don't really care about time score management here because it doesn't really matter and there are offenses trash and we're stopping them in like five seconds anyway so Well, we breeze through that. <coughs> All right, so we have to play this again. Okay, cool. So we're actually just going to skip that because Let's play the more like difficult. So this one is a full NFL season. Okay, so I would forfeit the current playoff if I, oh, okay. So I'd have to unlock the next level. So there's five fuel. So I'll probably just play through this. I feel like playing against, maybe I should have started earlier. I thought it was more like a sequence thing, but anyway, so you see you can get coins, cards 65 to 79 power, and then by winning, you can get 370 plus players. So I think it's an interesting concept. Um, the issue is it's kind of locked. It's reward barred at higher levels based on your team power, which is what people have complained about. It's, and the rewards are still pretty subpar for just grinding it out. Let's just check on this shakers points. Um, so you get this, you get conditioning points, gems, weight room points, running back points, coins. Gems, yeah, I really would have liked to have them throw a pack in here Just so like throw a bone for people I guess but I guess they didn't want to do that So yeah overall opinion of the shakers promo is it's a pretty interesting promo. I think it has a lot of potential It's the best free-to-play promo yet um, It's a good step towards getting the game where it needs to be before the season. I'm liking the progress I'm cautiously optimistic there's still a lot of issues with the game, in my opinion. Um, I do want to drop a video on that soon, kind of reacting to the community and reacting to people's um, feedback, I guess, on the game, my suggestions on how the game can get better. Um, but I think we're making progress, and that's the important part. It's still in beta, and I, for one, am still optimistic. I know a lot of others are turning sour on the game. I think this promo is a great step. Um, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next Rivals to Riches episode, and to natural out.